Qatar's Amir Sheikh Tamim is heading to Turkey to meet with President Recep Erdogan. The U.S. praises Qatar's generous support for Turkey and Syria's earthquake victims. A senior U.S. delegation is heading to Qatar and Saudi Arabia, while an Iranian envoy is also expected in Doha. And finally, a fun-filled day is on the way, with Qatar gearing up for National Sports Day on Tuesday. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar's Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani has left Doha early on Sunday, heading to earthquake hit Turkey. The Emir will be accompanied by an official delegation on his visit, in which he is scheduled to meet with Turkish President Recep Erdogan. Sheikh Tamim generously donated 50 million Qatari rials to the victims of the deadly earthquakes in both Turkey and Syria. Qatar's incredible generosity in providing much needed aid to Turkey and Syria's victims of the deadly earthquake has been praised by US Secretary of State Antony Blinken. The earthquake devastated both. Both nations killing more than 29,000 people while severely damaging buildings and roads. The senior Washington official said that Doha sets an excellent example in always stepping up when it comes to meeting some of the most urgent challenges. A U.S. delegation for counterterrorism is set to arrive in Qatar and Saudi Arabia later this week to engage in a strategic dialogue with senior Qatari officials. Some of the issues on the meeting's agenda will be on combating ISIS and fighting the financing of terrorism. An Iranian envoy will also be heading to Doha over the same period, prompting hopes of the restoration of the JCPOA nuclear deal. And finally, the 12th edition of Qatar's National Sports Day is here, with the holiday falling on Tuesday, February 14th. Events will be held by several groups, including the Ministry of Public Health, Hamad Medical Corporation, the Olympic Committee, Aspire, and many more. And there will be something to do for everyone. Check out our website for a list of what to do and where to go on Qatar's most active day. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co.